What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I have a brand new advice video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be talking about being original, you know, being original on YouTube, and just in general, you know, being yourself. Now, before we begin this video, remember to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 likes for this video, and with that being said, let's get started. Now, if there's one thing on YouTube that's harder than growing, it's being original. YouTube is probably one of the most oversaturated websites out there where there's, you know, thousands of people making videos about the same thing. And in my opinion, being original on YouTube is incredibly important. Not only, you know, original in the type of content you're making, but staying true to yourself with your personality as well as what you want to do on YouTube. Like on this channel, I try to be as unique as possible and upload videos that will interest you guys. But at the same time, I have a blast making and it's been working so well so far. And the thing is, as this channel has grown, I've noticed that there are a lot of new channels starting up that are very similar to this channel. Now, I can't say they're copying me because you don't know. They could either be copying your channel or they could be, you know, seeing this channel as inspiration. You can't really say or, you know, call someone out because there's a very fine line between copying someone and using them as inspiration. But there's been a lot of channels that are very similar to this channel. And not only this channel, but if you look at other niches on YouTube, there are a bunch of similar channels such as, you know, GTA 5 glitch channels or parody channels or prank channels. Like there's groups of them now and they make very similar content, but you can't really trace to see where their intentions are at. Like take prank channels, for example. Some people might be doing prank videos just because they actually enjoy doing it. They enjoy making other people smile. And even though it's similar to other people's content, they have a passion for it and actually enjoy doing it. And there's no harm there. Now, on the other hand, there might be channels that have seen other channels climb this ladder of success and, you know, reach fame, get lots of subs, lots of views because they posted prank videos and they want to follow the same ladder of success and imitate those channels. And they're going to do that to get as many views as possible to grow their own channels because they've seen it's worked for others and they want to follow the same path for success. So really, there's two reasons why they're making that content. One is because they love actually making and producing that type of content or maybe they're inspired or two, they just want to do it for the views. And the thing is, it's so hard to differentiate these two types of mindsets, those who are inspired and those who are copying you because there is such a fine line between it and you can't even see it. You can't go up to a channel and tell them, you know, hey, I think you're copying me. Can you stop? Because they can always just say, hey, I'm really just inspired by you. And you can't say anything to that because like they look up to you and it's really hard. So I don't personally say things like that to other channels, which I think are copying me because in the end, if they're doing what they love they can keep doing it but if they're doing it for views it's only going to harm them in the end and this is why it's so important to be original and yourself on youtube and even in real life you know like say for example you do copy others you know and you're trying to reach that success just by copying someone whether that be on youtube or real life say you actually do reach that level where you're satisfied you know you've gotten the views you wanted and you've reached your goal are you still happy though? Like, are you actually enjoying doing what you do? Are you happy with the way you are or with the way your channel is? Like, are you honestly satisfied? Because even though you may have the subs, making the videos and not being yourself is not going to be any fun. It's going to be burdensome. And you're going to have to stick with that personality because people think it's really you when it's not. You're going to create a shell for yourself that's going to be really hard to get out of. And in my opinion, it's just good to be yourself and stay original because that's what's going to also drive viewers, right? Like they want to see the real person. They don't want to see some counterfeit or knockoff version of someone else. They want to see the real you. And in the end, that's what's also going to drive the real viewers into your channel and the real people into your life. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'm sorry if it became a bit too motivational. I promise I'm not trying to be Shia LaBeouf, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, you should give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.